Now in this video I'll show you some different and advanced technique uh, of shattering the objects in 3ds Max with the uh, pull down it plugin. I hope uh, you must have done practice on all the examples uh, shown in the last parts. So let's start and uh, let me show you first what I'll teach you in this video. This is the complete scene. Hit play and uh, you can see the effect. So what's special in this scene? You may see that the small box is hitting the pillar at the corner and only the corner part gets shattered while rest of the pillar's part is unaffected. And you must have seen such kind of effect in lots of movies like Godzilla where the corners of the buildings get shattered by the touch of the Godzilla's tail or uh, you have seen the corners of the pillars get shattered by the bullet hits in matrix so this technique uh, which i'll show you now could be very useful in making such shots so let's start and uh, let me make a new scene first first of all uh, i take a box and uh, make the ground plane and here I make a pillar with box again and uh, but this exactly um, above the ground on the ground actually I take box again and uh, make a small handle kind of uh, thing I would call it handle from now onwards. The pivot of this handle is in its center. Let's change it. So go to hierarchy and click on affect pivot only and then put the pivot here. Now if you rotate this handle, it will rotate like this. Now let's animate this handle from this point to this point okay oh um, the handle is here so put it somewhere here so this is the motion the handle looks quite thin now so let me increase its height so that it could look a bit uh, thick and heavy let's give some uh, interesting colors to the objects okay now go to utilities open pull down it put the toolbar here open its shatter it option and with the box selected click on shatter it button and you can see the box is cut into several pieces now I want some more chunks here at this uh, point where the handle hits the pillar so for that uh, first ungroup the pillar and then let's pick these chunks individually I think it's fine these are the parts which uh, will interact with the handle it's fine I think so with these parts selected click on shatter it now we have more chunks here you can divide it into more chunks further select this chunk um, and group it for uh, one more time and then click on shatter it now once done go to top view and then select all the chunks together and then group them okay now assign a common color to the grouped object now select these two things together the pillar and the ground and open fractures basic click on create and create a fracture body
make this ground as uh, auto and uh, passive too so that it won't fall down because of uh, gravity make this handle auto too once done click on simulation now you will see something like this this is a very good and uh, natural simulation this looks good but did you notice something with the simulation you get these cracks also suppose if you don't want these cracks then you have to specify clearly that which part you want to be shattered and which part you want to be unaffected so for that first of all ungroup this and open this fractures advance panel now select only those parts which you want to take part in the simulation or to be affected more than the rest of the parts i don't want this i don't want this too so i keep only this part selected and you may see all these parts here in this list now click on detach clicking on detach makes them as a separate fracture body now there are two fracture bodies here the first fracture body is the original one and the second one is uh, the new detached fracture body so we have two separate fracture bodies right now the first fracture body the first fracture body 100% hardness which is good but clusterage is 40% which makes it vulnerable so make it zero now select the second fracture body which we want to be scattered make its clusterized value 100% which makes it quite vulnerable and we can reduce the hardness maybe 50% once done click on a start simulation button now you will see that only this part is shattering into chunks but other parts are quite untouched and unaffected you won't see any cracks here as you were seen before once you are satisfied with the simulation make them in a group and then uh, with the big keys selected click on a start button once done you can see the full animation very beautiful this handle is uh, breaking only a selected part of the pillar and rest of the part is unaffected so this is the beauty of this technique and if you want some uh, cracks on the pillar then uh, you will have to play with uh, these value of the fracture bodies like uh, increase some clusterize percentage of the first fracture body uh, maybe 20 and uh, when you will simulate the scene once again you will get some cracks here so all it depends upon these values this time let's change the clusterized value to 40 and hardness uh, maybe 80 and then if you simulate the scene you will get more cracks here look closely so all it depends upon the hardness and clusterized values of the fracture bodies so guys i hope you must have learned some good techniques in this tutorial pulled on it is indeed a very good plugin for 3ds max give it a try you will like it so let's meet in my next tutorial Till then, keep practicing. This is Chandan Kumar from India for CD Tours Plus exclusively. See you soon. Bye-bye.